Great, we're going to isolate multiple individual movements that you can do in sets. Say you can do in sets of two with both feet. And then after you finish those, they, they should go 35 seconds to 40 seconds. After we finish that, we'll culminate by sequencing them together in a freestyle, okay? So the first one will be outside of the foot pirouette where you're taking off, pirouetting the way we do in the club, and then coming back to the other side with the left foot. We do three on each side, okay? And look, this is six by six, so this could be a dining room, a family room, a garage. It's very small. One player, one ball. Dali. The key here is your low center of gravity. You guys are doing a great job. We're gonna throw in an inside cutaway movement after the pirouette. It's the opposite of the pirouette. So in the pirouette, you're going with the outside of the foot. The inside cutaway movement is kind of an Iniesta movement that, that we put a lot of value on. So when a player is coming after him, it's turning this way, inside. And then you would come to the left and just hooking a full turn, okay? Here we go in. This one you wanna generate rhythm. And here, remember, it's only six of them, it's 35 seconds. Make sure you're getting rhythm, change of rhythm, hydraulics, coordination, low center of gravity, right? So work for it a little bit in between, right? And just don't be satisfied with a half turn. See if you can overturn a little, like you're, you're making a full circle. The same way any yesterday, Shavi too. Maybe Shavi was one of the best at this. Now normally, when we're all back in training at Sunnyvale, what we like to do is we go live. So Adam would be following, battling Aiden. Fire, 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 and, but fire. because of physical distancing, we can't do that. So but the, the next best thing is to do it on your own. That's a great demo. Rocky with the piso. So you're gonna come in front of the ball, then you're taking off here, rock in front, pull up, and then pull out. Right? And go. Rock is the right, now is left. Rock. Good. We're gonna slow it down, slow it down, and focus a little more on the technique. Sometimes it likes to pull it two, three times. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. 
said and done. If you're a central midfielder, these are the tried and true movements, right? If you have a player coming on you and everyone feels you're moving this direction, all you got to do is hook. If you're coming this way, all you got to do is turn, right? If you go to the Cruyff move, you're there. You do a step over, you're here. You do the Bebeto move here. All these moves are going to buy you time. The more time you have, even a fraction of a second, the better you can play me. The first one is just going to be simple juggling with one bounce and uh, just getting the feel of the ball. It's not just about if you can do a thousand, five thousand, four thousand. It's if you can dominate the ball on demand, like where you want the ball. Now we're gonna go without a bounce. He goes right into a juggle. Good. Now we're gonna keep it lower than the knees on the foot. Good, now feet and thigh. Feet and thigh. Good. Now you can throw in the head if you want. Yep, and then down to the thigh to control. Good, and stop. Yep, one bounce. And then alternate. Good, and get those movements with his arms in between. Good. All right, I love it. Good. And guys, you know, one thing I have to say, use all the music you want. While we're filming this, we got a little music in the background there. If you don't have rhythm, you can't play football. So listen to as much music when you're playing with the ball. Time will go fast. Good, now he's juggling. Now lower than the knees. Yep. Now let's get the thigh engaged. Yep. Good. Beautiful. Now foot, thigh, a little head there and there. Yep. Incorporate the head a little. Yep, nice and easy. And thigh. And thigh. Yep. Good. Bravo, coach. And good. Now what we're gonna do, I don't want to get too close to you, right? Yeah. Is you're gonna uh, you're gonna generate rhythm with the ball, pop, 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 and then I want you to take it off your thigh and turn with your other leg and just get a little bit of a takeoff. Something that we do at Sunnyvale a lot. All right, here we go. So I want we're going off the thigh to a turn and a takeoff. Thigh turn, beautiful. And there you have it. Go ahead. Yep. Thigh turn. Good. One more. Thigh, turn. Good. Now stop. If you can do this, right, then you're advanced. Like, so this is something to work for right here. This is something we work for. So now we're going to take everything we did and we're going to reverse it. And we're gonna, this is what I call sequencing. So we're going to take, Aiden is going to start with juggling. He'll go off his thigh. He'll turn. That'll start the clock. Then we can add all the ones that we did, okay? So you got the double scissor, you have Cruyff, Cruyff, you have the pull, step over, you have the transfer, okay? So we wanna put like five, five, six sequences, but we're gonna start it off on the juggle, okay? Here we go. Scissor, Cruyff, uh, pirouette, inside cutaway. Yes, double scissor, inside cutaway, and good. Stop. How'd that feel? Feels good, huh? That's great. Now that was about 45 seconds, so I went a little bit longer, right? Very good. Now I want to ask you just for all our kids, because you're one of our advanced players. Did that get your heart beat up? Yeah. Okay. So you look at all the players that are the best in the world and when they make spectacular movements or even simple things, they're normally sequencing multiple movements, right? And so if we train, if we train to do one movement, when you're in the game, you can only do one movement or two. But if you train to do six like you just did, it's gonna be easier for you to do three when you need to, right? Next thing we're gonna do with Aiden, then Adam, is sombrero. So sombrero is like you're actually rocking with the ball off your thigh 
and then you're popping it over and you're out of town, right? And over someone's head. So let's do three sombreros and now I'm gonna challenge you because we're at the end of the training and then I wanna go into sequencing all the movements we did, okay? All right, here we go.